Hey, how's it going guys? This is Rod from webhostwarriors.com and in today's video we're going to be reviewing Stablehost and their web hosting services. Now before we go over the plans, uh, performance and speed tests and all the nitty gritty about Stablehost, let's go over uh, what Stablehost is about at a glance. You know, let's go over their history and what their company is all about. So with Stablehost, they have a fairly smaller team. You know, if you compare them to like mega brands like HostGator, Bluehost or any Endurance International group companies, you know, the Stablehost has a fairly smaller team of roughly 15 people. So that could be a good and a bad thing, but I look at that as a good thing because they have more people that, oh, not necessarily more people, but each person is, is fairly dedicated and, and has um, their own duties to fulfill for, for that company. So instead of, you know, people that are coming into work, uh, you know, that may not be, you know, happy with where they're going, at least with this company, it's a smaller group, it's a tight knit group. It's, you know, it, it's a smaller group that cares about those customers and the fact that they've been around since 2009. So they've been around for around eight years. And the fact that this small team can compete with some of the larger web hosting brands, that pretty much shows, you know, how good of a service and, and it's pretty much a testament of, of what they've done to thrive and survive in this really harsh environment because web hosting is not an easy business. You know, it's a very cutthroat industry and a lot of companies left, right, and center pop left and right and, and they normally don't last very long. So the fact that Stablehost is still around and they provide really good products and services is a testament, again, on you know how good and uh, high, of how high quality their services are. So with that in mind, let's go over with some other stuff. So the control panels, they do have their own uh, user interface that they use for dedicated hosting. Uh, in terms of hardware, they have fairly updated hardware. They use 96 gigs of RAM, uh, dual E5 CPUs, and enterprise level SSDs uh, for their own servers within their network. So that's fairly impressive. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that are, you know, like 10, 20 years old. They've pretty much uh, used the same type of machinery or the, the same type of equipment. And, you know, they, they're not really inclined to upgrade. But at least with this company, you know, it's still fairly new. And, you know, with that in mind, they've had a fair amount of growth since 2009. And also with well, their support, you know, they have a fairly good support as well. I mean, if you look at the very bottom of the site, I mean, it's, they, they have the, their own phone number and big bold letters. So you can pretty much call at any time. They have, they have 24 seven support. So overall the company, in my eyes, you know, it doesn't really throw out any red flags for me. So overall, it looks like a good company. Now let's go over the actual web hosting plan. So they have different types of plans. Uh, they have standard shared web hosting, uh, enterprise level web hosting, reseller web hosting and VPS and dedicated hosting as well. And in terms of apps, I mean, they, they pretty much integrate with you know, all the big major apps like PHP BB if you're planning to uh, making uh, communities or forums, uh, Drupal for you know, like making uh, educational types of websites, uh, same thing with Joomla. And of course, WordPress, you know, it's one of the biggest website uh, building platforms out there. And of course, uh, they also support Magento, which is uh, an e-commerce uh, website building co uh, program. And other than that, you know, why should you choose Stablehost? You know, Stablehost has uh, limited bandwidth. Um, their network ha can support up to 200 gigabytes uh, per second with their network. Uh, they utilize, again, high uh, quality equipment. They have 24-7 support they have really fairly quick like fast load times which i'm going to be going over later in the video and uh, they do have one click installations as well uh, within the dashboard so that in mind again it's not throwing red flags for me so overall i mean stable host is a fairly good company so far and also they're pretty open and they're they're pretty transparent as well they also do have uh real customer reviews as well which i'm going to go over later but um, other than that, let's focus more on the uh, shared web hosting plans that they have. So with the shared web hosting plans, they have three different types of plans. They have the starter plan, pro and platinum. So the starter is $4.95 per month, the pro is $8.95, and the platinum is $29.95. Now if we look at the uh, key differences between the packages, if we start off with the starter and pro packages, the websites uh, that you can own for the starter package if you're just starting out is just, is just one website, uh, but you do get to utilize um, you know, again, 24/7 support. Um, I believe with emails. Let me see. Okay, it doesn't have, doesn't provide the amount of emails it could have on there. But from my understanding, uh, you you do you can utilize multiple emails uh, through their own web hosting. So um, that was started in the pro programs. Uh, with the pro program, you do have unlimited websites. Um, you can have up to 500 accounts per server. Uh, about 2,500. 
uh, Max Files, uh, you get one full CPU core. Uh, then with a Platinum, you get two of those and pretty much double the Max Files, uh, but you do get less accounts per server since it is uh, more of a dedicated server. Um, other than that, uh, you also do get tools like script troubleshooting, um, hack or compromise repair and security, and spam expert spam filtering with the uh, the Platinum Edition. So those are pretty much the key differences with their, their actual web hosting um, in that regard. And other than that, uh, now let's go over their customer reviews. So their customer reviews, if you go to over to ratelobby.com, these are real reviews over the company. So there's over 196 ratings and they're rated 4.91 star. So uh, you can just pretty much scroll down here. I mean, they've gotten fairly good ratings. So considering, again, they have a smaller team. Now let's go over the performance side of it. So I'm here at hostbenchmarker.com. And by looking at some of the page speed test results with uh, stable host, it, it's actually competing with some of the best web hosting companies out there. So their average, uh, page load speed is 3.8 seconds and the average um, like load time for most uh, web hosting companies for other web pages is around seven seconds so the fact that it's three seconds for an average it's just fairly quick uh, best times are 2.39 seconds and their worst was 12.29 if you compare it again with like hostgator bluehost dreamhost all these other companies it it can hold up there so by getting involved with stable hosts, at least you know that you you're, you know you're you're getting a, a really good above average product, so there's no complaints there. And other than that, with, in terms of uptime, it's pretty much 99.9 percent. So if you look at these other companies, it's placed around fifth place. It's 99.94 uh, percent. So with in terms of uptime, you know you, you don't really have to worry about your website going down. So it's pretty much up 99.9 percent .9 of the time. So you know with that in mind. Just by looking at these characteristics with Stablehost, you know, it's I can say without a shadow of a doubt that it's a safe company to get involved with. You know, if you want to get involved with a smaller team uh, where they, there's more care and more passion involved compared to you know a big mega brand like Bluehost and Hostgator where they have hundreds if not thousands of employees, you know, I would get involved with Stablehost and look at their plans. And you can go ahead and click below uh, the description or throughout the video to look at their website and. Uh, look at the plans that are right for you. So uh, you can pretty much go from web hosting plans, or unless you already have a, a fairly big business, you can go with enterprise. Um, if you plan on being a refer or refer of the company and sell the hosting yourself, uh, they have reseller hosting for 9.95, and then um, VPS at 9.95 as well. So with that in mind, guys, that's pretty much the review. That pretty much sums up the review for Stablehost. Um, overall, I don't see very many red flags. Uh, with the web hosting company which is why i'm reviewing them and openly promote them so with that my guys just go ahead and click below look at the plans with stable host and um, that's pretty much it guys so i'll see you guys on the next one